hello everyone today in this video we are going to learn css pseudo element before and after as you can see when i'm hover over we get a nice looking red underline and also we have added a star here before this click me how we can add all these things without adding any extra html element will be learned in this video let's go ahead and try to see now we are going to add before and after element in order to add before and after element as you can see here is my html i have a button container inside this container i have a anchor tag and let's make a button uh, to create button we'll add some style as you can see i have added here display flex padding 10 and 20 pixel and text decoration non border radius pixel and cursor pointer if i save it as you can see in order to add uh, before and after what we have to get we have to get the button class right after that we have to add clone and then we can add here before before this click me what we'll add we'll add content right we need to get content uh, which type of content we'd like to add we would like to add uh, whatever right and if i save it as you can see we get this thing if i add some color then you can clearly see let's say add here this color as you can see looks good but we'll not add some text right we'll add the star as you can see i have added here a star and now it looks good also we will add margin right and let's go ahead and try to add the underline in order to underline we are gonna be use after element let's go ahead and try to add after element instead of before here will be after and content which will be empty and uh, since we are adding underline we'd like to use position absolute right position absolute if we add any child element position absolute we have to add position relative to the parent element this is a button with our parent element and we have to add here position relative that's it and if we have position absolute then we got access top bottom left right after adding here red color if i save it as you can see we got the underline but it's not uh, like scaling right we need to add the scale property but uh, we got uh the underline uh let's go ahead and try to scale this thing in order to scale we are using is transfer scale one and yeah scaling one initially it will be zero as you can see nothing is there but when i'm hover over then we'll show this scale so we just uh, need to get this button after that we'll use hover and let's use it so if i save it as you can see we get the underline but it's not looks good right we need to add transition transition which will be transform and 0 0.3 s and we can say if i hover over as you can see we get the nice looking underline that's it guys you can add easily before and after element thank you very much for watching this video and make sure subscribe my youtube